Hey, hey, happy Friday, everybody. Todd Bartusek, Berkshire Hathaway Homes, All Metro Real Estate Group. So I'm standing here in front of a brand new listing that's going live pretty much as we speak. Super popular neighborhood, 4512 William. This is a three bed, three bath with a really hard to find two car garage. This is going on the market today at only 269.9. I just sold one in this same neighborhood that only had a one car garage and it sold for 275. So if you know someone that's looking to get into a Midtown house, Midtown inventory is almost impossible to find right now. Um, this house will go, it's a great house, has a charming and quaint look. You see the classic two story behind me. Um, three bedroom, three bath, two car. Has really nice updates going live today. I'm gonna spin it around here, show you guys the, just, I'm gonna start with the street. So you've got a really charming street, quiet street. You got brick tutors, just a really, you know, a, a lot of nice houses. You know, mature neighborhood. How you doing? If you know any neighbors, it's going on the market today. If you know any neighbors, it's going on the market today. 269.9, three bed, three bath, two car. You bet. Have a great one. Just talking to the neighbor. So I'm going to roll inside here. The neighbor was standing out there, probably wondering what the heck I was doing. <laughs> so anyways, okay, here's the, here's the front family room. Also, I'm going to point out new windows with the, with the wood casing. So Really, you've got all the all today's upgrades that somebody would want in a home in a older established neighborhood. Ryan Sullivan down in Phoenix checking in. What's up, my friend? So I love this room. It's a really nice size family room. Um, wood burning fireplace. You know, handsome, handsome fireplace and mantle there. Um, again, new windows. I'm gonna roll around over here. Here's the dinette eat-in area. Hardwood floors, updated kitchen, quartz countertops, nice subway tile backsplash, uh, upgraded maple cabinets, newer appliances. I'm gonna step outside here and show this yard for a second. So again, it's got a two car garage, as I mentioned. We have a Trex deck out front. Here's a regular you know, wood deck, but it's nice size. It's a south facing house, so that's nice uh, for the evenings. You're gonna have nice shade back here on this deck. And there's that garage, two-car garage. The, uh, the garage door's on the other side, but it's a nice little fenced-in yard. So good for somebody with kids or pets. Each floor has its own bathroom. That's also a challenging feature to find at times. Here we got a small little powder room on the main. A lot of these older homes only had bathrooms on the second floor. Sometimes they'd have them downstairs, but a lot of times they do not have them in or on the main floor. Hey, good morning, Haley. How you doing? So here's the lower level finished family room area here. You know, nice for, you know, if uh, people don't want to watch the same TV shows you can come down here, you've got extra, extra finished areas. Um, nice updates throughout. We have copper plumbing, Updated electrical, newer furnace. Um, so the house has been taken care of very well. So this is a this is a third conforming bedroom with a bathroom downstairs. This makes a great guest suite, or even if whoever buys this house, if they want to have a roommate. So really, they kind of have their own space down here. So somebody could buy this house, could have a roommate, and they could be paying half their mortgage for them. So anyways, I'm gonna head upstairs here. I'm good, Haley. Thanks for asking. How's everything going with Leslie? I haven't heard back from her. Um, I've actually got an acreage I want to send to her that's going to be hitting the market. So I'm heading upstairs here. You see you got the original woodwork. Here's, a, here's an elevated shot of the backyard and the garage. It's a really nice little backyard. Super quiet street. The master bedroom is really nice size. Both of these second floor bedrooms have huge walk-in closets. 
I love the original sconce that's on the wall. Again, a lot of charming character in this old world home, but with a lot of today's contemporary updates brought into it. So there's your large walk-in master closet. It's not, a, it's not a West Omaha closet, but having a walk-in closet in one of these older homes, that in and of itself is a challenge to find. Here's the, here's the second floor full bath. You see you've got the beautiful honeycomb floors. You know, it's, it's just a nice clean house. This room here, second floor. It's also got a sconce up there on the wall. And also has a walk-in closet. So it's a great house. A lot of house for the money in Midtown. 269.9. Literally my assistant's back in the office as we speak, putting it in the MLS. So if you guys know someone thinking about getting into a Midtown house, have them call me. I'll show it to them. It's a great house. Like I said, I just sold one in the same neighborhood, only a one car garage, 275. This is on the market for 269. So anyways, thanks for watching everybody. If I can offer any advice, second opinions, uh, anything of that nature, even if you're not one to sell, but you're wondering, hey, should, should, should I refi? Give me a call, I'll talk you through that. Um, you know, money's cheap right now. So again, even if you're not looking to sell, have a conversation with me and let's see if it makes sense for you guys to do a refi and save yourself some money. So I'm always here for any questions. You guys have a great weekend and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.